As you see, Edward Ellington Humphrey is in the house with the wine dude. Do the math. <laughs> and the wine is so tasty. <laughs> Please join me and the wine dude as we take you through it. Funk with, funk with, funk with. I'm gonna tell you which ones you can funk with under a dime piece. Not the rolling dime, the folding dime. So stay tuned to the wine dude. Hey, hump. Yeah. <laughs> and chill with Humpty Hump and we're gonna keep this dude bumping. Yeah. All right, the wine dude. You're already going. You're already going. Oh yeah, well, you know. That's good. Okay, so you're ready to get to it? Let's get to it. This is for you. Thank you, sir. Okay, so our whole concept is 10 wines for under 10 bucks from Trader Joe's. That's a great deal. Isn't that a great deal? 10 wines for under 10 bucks each. Under 10 bucks each. All right, let's start what everyone calls two buck chuck. Two buck chuck. <laughs> That's like one hump humpy. <laughs> two buck chuck. Two Sounds buck good. chuck. This is Shiraz from Charles Shaw Winery. Let's try it. Charles Shaw. So, yeah, nice let, me, let me use the good wine etiquette there, see? Oh, but you know what, Humpty? Uh, we don't have wine etiquette at the Wine Dude. Oh, good. We like what we drink and we drink what we like. We all knew I was baking anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. What do you think? What do you smell? Grapes. Grapes. <laughs> you know, I never thought of saying that before. Mm, very grapey. Taste the whole thing through your palate. Okay, what do we got? Back of the throat, kind of a berry taste. What else do you taste? Cherry, right in the middle. Cherry grape. Cherry grape, okay. Deal with the grape. Not too dry. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's really a liquidy kind of wine. And how much is this wine? Moist, moist. Uh, two ninety nine. No. Oh, two I thought buck you said chuck. two buck chuck. Two buck chuck. <laughs> a dollar ninety nine. A dollar ninety nine. Look, if you got a date and you're taking her out and you only got five bucks to work with, put three in the tank so you can get to her. That'll get you a half a gallon these days. <laughs> and, uh, like a quarter gallon. <laughs> and you got two bucks left for an entire bottle of wine. Two buck chuck, Charles Shaw. That's great, man. Two buck chuck, Shiraz, there it is. What do we got next? If we take another two bucks up, this is the Trader Joe's Hostel Merlot, 2004. This wine goes for about 11, 12 bucks, but because it's got Trader Joe's name on it, it's 399. 399. Okay. That's divine. Our winer, our diner, and our 399. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. All right, let's get in there. The maid's not here. You have to work for your wine. Coastal Merlot, Trader Joe's. Let's take a quick sniff. Ooh. What do you smell? Mm. Blackberry. That's what I smell. Blackberry? Blackberry. Yo, you got a good palate there. How can you tell? Blackberry. I, I definitely get a berry sensation, but pretty deep, not necessarily though. black. For a Merlot? It's got a pretty good smell. Right, we'll try it. All right, let's get in there. Here we go. Here's the Merlot. <laughs> I will do that next time. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Let me try that again. Pretty smooth. You know, according to my palate, my taste buds are telling me it's like two bucks better than the last wine. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, I, what I'm tasting is a very smooth Merlot. It's got that kind of buttery aftertaste as it goes on the top of your uh, palate there, right before the soft palate. Easily swallowable, mm -hmm. real liquidy. Be good with barbecue. Yeah? Mm. Ribs, 
Maybe steak. Of course, for you it wouldn't be that way because I know you don't. Pasta. Eat pasta. What else? Anything tomato saucy? Pizza. Cheese and crackers. Cheese and crackers. This is a good cheese and cracker wine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, baby, baby. It's working. It's getting in there. Thank you, Trader Joe's, for bringing it down. Woo! Talk to me, baby. <laughs> That's good stuff. Okay, so I figured we'll go from the cheapest to the most expensive. Okay. Now keep in mind, Trader Joe's does have the more expensive wines also, but we're keeping everything under 10 bucks just for our viewers. Keep your glass neat. Hey, keep your glass neat. There you go, clean your glasses. <laughs> you know what? Uh, Brand over here is really good at that. Just have to check out the Wine Deeds Upside Down Tour to check it out. Brent in action. What up, Brent? Cheers. Cheers. Black Mountain Fat Cat Cabernet Sauvignon. Whoa. This is good stuff. Can I try to say that? The Black Mountain Fat Cat Cabernet Cabernet Sauvignon. There you go. <laughs> Talk to man, oh man. Let's do that one. I know this one's good. All right, let's get down there. This isn't that expensive though. This is only a five dollar bottle. Right? Five dollar bottle. We're working our way up. Bo Nina Nina. I noticed something about pouring this wine that I didn't notice on the other ones. Look at What's the that? color of the bubbles. Yeah, the bubbles are very gratefully. Isn't that cool? A lot more purple than the than a lot the more rest. More purple than the rest. A lot more red in the bubbles. What is that? What is that? What is that? Uh, hint too. Um, it hints to it's time to drink. Isn't that good? I hate to say it, but that's a good steak wine. Whoa. Right there. You think so? Yeah, I do. Steak wine. Steak wine. Something you can chew on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like this. Four ninety nine. Getting a little bit more of a uh, take your breath away to it. Yeah. Not dry yet. Still moist. Mm -hmm. But it had a little bit of a uh, that snap that usually comes after liquor. That kind of uh, head rush. No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Fuminess. Right. It's a higher uh, alcohol yeah. content. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Octane. Well, this has a lot more alcohol fume to it and less less fruit. That's also, you have to remember, it's a Cabernet Sauvignon, so it's not so much a fruit forward wine. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Cab is a real red wine drinker's wine, kind of like uh, the Pinots are, because there's a lot to them. There's more just stuff to chew on. There's stuff that lingers. You notice the aftertaste will, will last a little bit longer. Get that chew. Yeah, get that chew. Good for a steak. steak or you know wine. what else would work good with this? Like a grilled portobello mushroom steak. Ooh, yeah. That would work really well with this. Delicious lasagna. So we're gonna stay in the $4.99 range? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? That's great. Let's keep it down there. in there. This is the Old Moon Old Vine Zinfandel, 2005. So it's not very old wine, but it says it's from an old vine. And as we know from other podcasts that we've done, Old Vines make some really good grapes, especially for wine. Old Vine that's been plucked lately. Right. Old Vine Thank make you. some wine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hope we got color in the bubbles again. Seems like once you get over the 499 range, you get the, get the colored bubbles. colorful bubbles, you know? Oh, now this one smells different. That's for sure. Now, of course, this is Zinfandel again. So you're gonna have a little bit more fruit on the Zinfandel than you will probably from the calves. Definitely a stronger aroma here. More penetrating aroma. <laughs> yep. Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> drier. Definitely drier. It is a Zinfandel, so we yep. have to expect that. Drier still. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's got a good aftertaste. Got that kind of creamy taste to it, which is a little strange for Zinfandel. I don't get the berries as much as I do on some of the other wines, though. 
It's not a long it? ways away from the last one. Yeah. It's not that far off from the uh, mountain cat. Yeah, but that's Cab and this is Zinfandel. So it's kind of weird to say that it's not, you're kind of hard. It's like not comparing apples to apples, you know what I mean? Oh, I see. You got two different wines. This is an apple that tastes like a pear, is that what you're telling me? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what though, it makes, it is interesting though that you do compare the two. Well, even though these, these are of a different nature, I feel like they're a little closer together than the first two were. Okay. I know what it is. What is it? They're both $4.99. There it is. <laughs> we should have known. My palate has adjusted the price. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, let me get back in there. Okay. Let me give it a good humpty goopty humpty taste this time. Mm. What do you think? Yeah, that's delicious. The better they get, the further we go, the more we drink, the less we'll know. I like that. That's what I believe. Okay, we're moving to $5.99. Uh-oh. Big Get, time, baby. Getting up in the wallet, getting up in the wallet. Now this one we bought because of the, of the label here. A big fan of aliens and spaceships. And it was pretty interesting. Kind of reminded me of one of Shock G's type of album covers. Album covers you know. So I decided, hey, this would be a good one to do. Seeing as you're so close with Shock G. Yep, that's my little brother, Shock G, and, and he's a big George Clinton fan, so you got the Mothership Connection, and you got all the alien underlings from Shock G to Cool Keith. Yep. Red Flyer, here we go, cool. five ninety nine. As the bottle implies, it's very universal, very cosmic, very otherworldly, but we shall see, huh? Okay. Take a smell? Oh, I smell caramel. Oh. Sure is. Yeah. Pretty good, weird for a red one. wine, huh? Good call. Red wine in there. Yeah. I'm also getting some kind of, I don't know if it's like lavender or purple essence in there under the caramel, mixed in with it. Yeah. I Might be my imagination. Well, let's get in there. Okay. You're looking a little picky to me. You okay? Oh. Yeah, my blood feels like it's going through some type of metamorphosis. This is five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. No way, baby. Whoa. Mmm. Yo. Mm. Uh, Whoa. Yo, Red Flyer? Whoa, Red Flyer. <laughs> what the hell did you do, man? I don't know, it's funny it's not called Purple and Blue Flyer. Huh. This is great, how much? You know what though? There's definitely red going here to get purple. It takes red to get purple That's out of blue. That's what it is. <laughs> oh my there God. There it is. We flew a little red to the blue and came up with a well, purple this... passion eating purple red flyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, this is a $5.99. $5.99, I'm Whoa. afraid to let you taste it again. It's got chameleon effects to it. Wow. I think I'm just gonna smell it this time because I kinda like this outfit. I don't wanna jump to another one. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this is delicious. Powerful mm. stuff. Red flyer. Got my vote. Wow. It is from another world. It is cosmic. It is. Definitely. Wow. <laughs> well. $5.99. What a fluke. You gonna finish? Nah. Nah? No, I'm scared of this one. This is, this is heavy stuff. Woo! <laughs> okay, well in that case, we gotta move to our next wine. We're gonna go for the screw top. The Big House Red. Screw top. This doesn't have a cork. I was told it really doesn't make a difference if it has a cork or not. <laughs> and to tell you the truth, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> so let's try it. This is screw that top. Way. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Let's do it up. Once again, Humpty Hump in the house with the wine dude. <laughs> yeah? What's up, man? Big House Red. Big House Red. What do you smell? Let's give it a sniff. Oh. Cherries? Mm. Thank you for the cherry flavored email. Yes. Mm. Kind of reminds me of this outfit. That's amazing, man. It's got a little great, a little great flow to it. You taste? Mmm. 
Great babe, great babe. <laughs> huh. Pretty, Pretty good. good. Definitely a blend of some sort. Let's see. Hey, you read it. Let me start you off. I think it's a Humpty Humpty. Big House Red has a little poem on the back, if you will. Can I read it to him? Mm-hmm. Let's see, it says yada, yada, yada. Warden, break out of the confines of stuffy tradition with the stelvin and unrepently practical <laughs> closure by long stretch. Now you gotta see how it's written. It's written in the way, just for the viewers out there who don't know, it's written in the way that like a serial killer writes the, the ransom letter. The ransom letter, exactly. Cut out letters here and there so there's no consistent typeset, no consistent uh, font, and I don't know what's going on here, but let's keep it going. Okay, what do we got here? Cagney or Robinson would never deem it a dirty screw. Yo, the I-4? The O-4. The O-4. O-4. The O-4 homies. Ah. Is a muscular, but by no way meant intelligent, eclectic blend, viceroy, petite, I've gotten off the page. Okay, wait I'm a gonna second. let the wine dude read it. Yeah, here we go. Okay, <laughs> check it out. it out. What the whole <laughs> trick of this thing is, this is a blend of Carnion, Petite Syrah, Sangiovese, Zinfandel, Barbera Syrah, Grenache, and Monte Polcrano? What the hell is that? I've never heard of that one before. Okay, it says it's more than singing for it's supper. Supper. Okay, Big House Red. Don't know what the hell they're talking about. Besides, we do know that it is a blend of many wines, so that would make it a red table wine, as we've learned in other podcasts. Can we cut the crap and drink it? I think so. Let's see what's going on. What do you think? Not gonna change color on me again, are you? It tastes wine tacular. <laughs> Whoa, that's delicious. Would it be grape tacular? Grape tacular as grape well. I, I like that. Grape tacular. Grape tacular. New word, grape tacular. If you like the wine, it's grape tacular, as in grapes and spectacular. <laughs> Another wine dude and Humpty original. So just talk to me, baby. <laughs> talk to me. What do you taste? What do you got? I taste some black cherries. Where are we at now? Was this five ninety nine? This was the let me see seven ninety nine. Seven. Big time, Ooh, baby. Lucky number. Big time. That's a casino number too. Seven ninety nine. Seven in general. Seven in general. Lucky seven. House wins most of the time. Be and careful. it's called Big House Red. Big House Red. Go ahead, finish that. One thing that I am noticing, I'm getting hot. You getting hot? I feel like yeah, lounge. You want to lounge? Yeah, let's lounge. Let's you know, lounge. in all in all true respect, it is kind of hot out here, man. Let's get out of the sun. You yeah, want to get out of the sun? Is that what you're telling me? I want to get out of the sun. Let's get out of the sun. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Yeah, me too. Let's go have it made in the shade. Oh, yeah. Much better, much better. Okay. All right, stop what you're doing, because I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you're used to. Ah, this is better. Yeah. Nice and cool. Oh. Had to get out of the direct sun, right? Well, I got four wines here left. Are you ready? Yeah, we're getting up there, man. You know, I think I know what happened with the color thing. What happened? Well, we jumped to seven ninety nine before six ninety nine. Oh, that'll do it. Kind of warped the universe, I think. You look like you got a friend here. Oh yeah, this is this is my homeboy. We call him Elmo. Elmo. There he is. Wow. Well, he looks like he's having a good time. We might as well pour some six ninety nine er. Six ninety nine. Hey, if six was nine, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I poured you a lot. I'm sorry. This one's six ninety nine. This is Ravenswood. This is stuff in Ravenswood that you can buy at the store. So we're gonna try this one and see how it does because it's under ten bucks, and that's what we're doing here today. What do you think? I'm giving it a good double Humpty nostril. Mmm. Okay. Rumski. Um, um, I like it. Give it a wine, Rumski. Rumski. Mmm. What are you getting? What are you getting? Grapes. Ah. 
<laughs> well, of course you're getting grapes. Talk to me, baby. Talk I to me. I smell alcohol. That's for sure. Yeah, this one's getting loaded. It's starting to get up there. I get that more berry flavor back in again, too. I think that's like related to the Zinfandel. Definitely. This is a 2003 Zinfandel. It's got a licorice kind of thing to it, too. Yeah. Isn't that weird? <laughs> kind of a black licorice. Sounds like my nickname. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now that's a round wine. I can't do that breathing thing you do. You know what the trick is? A gag. Take a little tiny bit, put it in the bottom. Bottom pilot. Bottom right. cup, and then just breathe in a little bit. All right. You got that, Elroy? All right. Better? Yeah, works out. Better? Works out. See that? I need a little training, a little uh -huh. training. What do you taste? Grapes. Grapes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Try it Once again. again. Let's get a good taste. Right? Come on. I'm actually getting a little bit of the black cherry bit on the back there. I actually taste strawberries in this one on yeah, the tip. Black cherry, yeah. Get strawberries on the tip, a little bit. Is that what you're getting? On the tip of your tongue. Wait, let's see. Yeah. Strawberry letter 22. <laughs> the music played, I sat there for a few. Is that what you're tasting, That's strawberries? What I'm, tasting. I'm not getting strawberries. On the very tip. I swear to God, I'm getting black licorice. I don't know why. It's probably not. You know what it is? It's this. <laughs> oh my God! Get out of here, bro. Uh, that was where that came from. Uh, okay, let's let's try it again. Let's try it again. Right. See if you can hit the strawberries this time. All right, let's see what's going on. Quit here. screwing with that turtle. Uh, peace, Elroy. Oh yeah, it's a good wine. I like this wine. Oh yeah, this is good. This is definitely over five bucks. Yeah, definitely. Six ninety nine er. Definitely over five bucks. My tongue tells me that. I know five bucks are better. Went down on a hooker in Tijuana one time, and it was under seven bucks, but it was over five bucks, and I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it the whole time. No, nah, this is delicious. Her name wasn't Maria, was it? Maria! Mm -hmm. Shouts to Element. <laughs> yeah. Humpty Hump. Let's do the dance, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Yeah. Come through. I'm Humpty Hump. <laughs> Just grab them in the biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. You know what? That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a Ravenswood. That's a good one. Go ahead and finish that. Should I? Should I? Yeah, of course. These guys are secretly getting me drunk. Here in Simi Valley today. We, it's not a secret. Word today. All right. All right, now you got a choice, my friend. We got three. Who's eight, driving me home? We'll call you a cab, don't worry. <laughs> I don't want it. Because here at the Wine Dude. I'll call my driver. We want you to drink responsibly. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we got three left. We got uh, the Fife, we got the Cellar number eight, we got the Parducci. You tell me which one you want to try. We're down to the, what will be the winner, the uh, runner up. And the runner runner up. Eight ninety nine each. Mama. These are our expensive wines. Oh, we're getting up in money. We're getting up in money. If you got, got ten dollars to spend, and you don't want to spend it all in one place, you don't want to invest it in property or anything, we're gonna tell you where to spend it. And that's <laughs> wine. Exactly. <laughs> and the wine community will thank me. And so will Trader Joe's. We got Parducci Pinot Noir. We got cellar number eight Merlot, and we got Redhead Red by Fife. What do you want to try? I want to try five dudes. We got five. Redhead Red, 2002. Here with Humpty Hump. Yup. And five Diggy from Tribe Called Quest. There we go. This is from Mendocino. An 8.99 wine from Trader Joe's. Wow. By the way, once again, for the viewers who just joined us, this entire show has been under $10. That's Get right. in there. Get in there. And uh, this says, need something juicy and lip smacking for dinner? Redhead Red, a blend of Mediterranean varieties and a quintessentially California wine inspired by the soft of easygoing wines, European drinking cafes, bistros, and tattorias all over France and Italy. Tasty, fun, uncomplicated, everything a wine should be. Wow. 
It's beautiful. Let's see what that is. Tasty, fun, uncomplicated. Everything a girl, a wine, <laughs> should be. Careful. I love a wine, a boy, a girl. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> oh. That's good. Oh. You're getting good at that, too. I'm learning. You're learning. Thank you. I like this wine. What do you think? I think based on the uh, quantity of the other wines that we've tasted so far, I'm getting to where it doesn't matter. One wine's <laughs> another wine. A wine's a wine, you know? We're that's, drinking wine. That's not what this is about. Okay, We're trying I'm to sorry. tell people $8.99 for a wine. Let me slow down. Do you think it's worth $8.99? In order for us to try these 899 wines, we have to do it before we're under the influence of a gazillion 8299, 399, 499, 599, 699 wines. But I'm not that tipsy, and definitely the wine dude has kept his composure. Humpty Hump will sit here and enjoy the wine while he tells you what type of wine is divine. And on that note, <laughs> well, I'm gonna kick back here, bro. I'm spilling some black cherries. I'm spilling some deep. A little blueberry actually in this one and um you know what to tell you wow. the truth i really like this one this is a blend this is really good what do you think you like this one i think i exaggerated when i said the 299s got me to where i can't taste these i can still taste these this is a good wine this is a good wine this is a good wine right here and why? it's under 10 bucks you want to know why it's not too grapey not too dry, it's not too liquid, and it's not too berryish. When a wine is over berryish, it kills it. This is a good under ten dollar Trader Joe's wine, people. Yep, ask the wine dude. Absolutely, I think this would go good with some pasta, some marinara sauce. Maybe even a club sandwich. I think this will go good with a baked potato. Baked potato. All right. I haven't heard that one before, but I'll accept that. Yeah. What would you put in that baked potato? You know, chives and cheese and and broccoli and and butter. But and sour cream. A butter cheese, sour cream, broccoli, cheese, and chive, baked potato, and this wine will give you the best evening with the best of company. These are the best of times. <laughs> Woo. I totally agree. Yeah. I'm glad we see things the same way. Let me drink up. So Humpty Hump picked Fife Redhead Red, 2002. Fife Dog. I'm going for the seller number eight Merlot. Now this is going to be different. Okay. This is going to be mellower. That's what my prediction is. That's his prediction, people. Piece to five diggy, by the way. Okay. All right. What do we got here? You got your cellar number eight or low. Oh, I've been waiting to get to the number eight. Eight is great. Eight looks good. Eight is a circle that you can't get out of. I love it. Basically, this says it is vinted and bottled by Osti Winery in Geyserville. Geyserville. We had a lot of fun in Geyserville. We were just up there. We visited Geyser Peak Winery, which has some really great wines, especially their sparkling Shiraz. Ooh, getting a heavy smell out of this one. This getting a, a heavy head rush. This is a chewer wine. If you guys are really interested in Humpty Hump's mm. opinion of the 899 wine, we should have did these first. Because <laughs> <laughs> Lord, I love Merlot. If you're from mm. France, the T is pronounced <laughs> But here in the United States, the T is pronounced That's right. So the Merlot is delicious. <laughs> okay. You know what? We've had that disagreement before. <laughs> Merlot versus Merlot. What's the difference? Well, is there a difference? Is the wine different? Yeah. No. It just depends on who is saying it. Oh, that's good. That's you true. say Merlot, I say Merlot. It doesn't you really say matter. Potato, potato. I say potato, That's tomato, right. potato, tomato. The tomato. truth is, is that there's nothing wrong with Merlots, you guys. This is a good wine. 
I go for the Merlot because the Merlot reminds me of Mad Dog 2020. <laughs> the Merlot reminds me of Cisco. I think you just like the name. Yeah. Merlot? <laughs> Merlot. Yep. The wine is building up. on that, buddy. The wine is building up, brother. Let's sell number, number eight. eight. What you drinking? What do you think? You know, I got to seller number seven, and I wasn't quite satisfied. And when I opened the door to seller number eight, in came that magnificent experience. Seller number eight is not only great, but I'm overwhelmed by not just the smell of grapes, but also the smell of beautiful, delicious, fermented berries. This is good wine right here, seller number eight. My vote, Humpy Hump says, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. $8.99, baby. $8.99? $8.99. Under $10? Under $10. Woo! Under $10? And hey, you know what? You get it at Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's? Under $10, Trader Joe's? No way. <laughs> Cheers. No way. <laughs> Okay, Parducci, 2005, Pinot Noir. This oh, is our last Lord. wine. Oh, Lord, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You came here to drink? Yep. You came here to tell me what you think? Yep. And you know what? You did a great job. Oh, thank you, brother. And I really enjoyed your company. <laughs> Look at this guy. This guy, Parducci. Go help your brother Bobby in the kitchen with the spaghetti. Speaking of spaghetti, what wine will go good with the spaghetti? Cut the garlic thin. You know what? What? Even though it's Italian, it's in nature, this is a California wine. Wow. And that's what we're about. We're about California wines. Every wine you saw here today is a California wine. And the nice thing about it is, it's all choices of the wine dude. And Humpty Hump. Yeah. Uh. So here we go, me, our Talk last wine, $8.99. We have not spent $10 yet. And here we go. Wait, 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 wait. We haven't broke the $10 realm yet? No, we haven't. Ladies and gentlemen, take a bow and enjoy yourself for, and in blessings to, the Walmart of wine tasters under a dime. Yep, not the rolling kind, the folding kind. Under a dime wines. But for real, for real. Trader Joe's got your back, baby. Under a dime. Playboy hot girl, let's go down. Wake up, that sound, sound. Take me, let's go downtown. Keep me to Now that was good. Whoa, this has set me off like poppers. That's good wine. This is our only Pinot. But you know what? It's like smelling salts. It was worth the end. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, I feel like Timothy Leary right now. He kind of looked like Timothy Leary. Tell me what you think. Bing! What do you smell? You smell the flowers? The ones the tortoise was eating? Yo! There's only one organism in the world slower than a humpy hump. And that's your man, Mr. Tortoise. Yeah. <laughs> he like that. Look at him go, man. Cool brother. I smell psilocybin mushrooms. Psilocybin, really? In this one. You know, I think I do too. I smell MDMA. And I also smell Peruvian flake <laughs> and opium. This wine is loaded! <laughs> Yo, what do you got? What do you got? I smell a heavy cherry smell. You got a little bit of raspberry in there. True. You know, it really sounds strange. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's because we're on our 10th wine. I don't know. But I smell citrus in there. Yeah, for the first time. Citrus, For the huh? first time, enter vitamin C into the grapes. Let's taste it. It's been great. Now it's vitamin C. Okay. Go for a taste. Okay. Mmm. Ah. Wow. You know, 
I even taste a little bell pepper in there. <laughs> and now you're tripping. <laughs> no, really. You taste Mexican food in your wine? No, I taste bell pepper. Oh, okay. I didn't say Mexican food. However, <laughs> this might go good with Mexican food. Yeah, it might. Yeah, it might. I could taste it like a good burrito. <laughs> Maybe carnitas. You smell what in here? I smell Mexican food. In here. In here. Stereo eyes. <laughs> curry would go good with this wine. With this wine, curry? Mexican food or curry? We're getting something. Yep. Mexican getting... food or curry? Is there a relationship? Yes. You know what it is? It? Tell me. An Italian wine? It's the grapes. It's the grapes. It must be the grapes. Good, real, fermented, regular, ready to go wine grapes. Indian Mexican grapes? Indian Mexican grapes. Ready to go. <laughs> ready to go, bruh. Mmm. What do you think? Wow. She coinged me. <laughs> so I had to LAX her homes because I lost Felix for her. <laughs> this is a great wine, bro. Nah, let it go. But you know what? There is an Indian thing and there is a Hispanic thing going on with this particular wine. It's not just Italian. The Italian's in there. But this is a wine for all ethnic groups who want to spend less than $10 and who know Trader Joe's. This is a wine for you. Tell them why. Isn't it? It really is. It's awesome. We're not joking. It's great stuff. And you know what? It's less than 10 bucks, as Humpty Hump said. Yup. And, uh, well, we went through 10 wines for under 10 bucks. And we enjoyed it fully. And I want to thank Humpty Hump for coming here and helping me out. I he did, did a, it. He did a good job. We drank it. That's right. And we enjoyed it. And we want you to go to Trader Joe's and get these wines. And join me, the wine dude. He's drinking out of the bottle now. So I think it's time to go, don't you? <laughs> Have a good one. Five. Five diggy. Tribe Call Quest. <laughs> Love you, baby. <laughs>